University in Danville says some of its workers have taken a temporary pay cut this summer. This comes after an employee mismanaged millions of dollars in the university's budget. Target 7 investigator Isabella Ladon is here in studio. Isabella, I understand you sat down with the school's president. What did she have to say? Jean, university leaders say this came as an absolute shock. The pay furlough started last month, but paychecks are expected to go back to normal in just a few weeks. The university says the person responsible no longer works at Averett, but the institution is left to make up $6 million before the school year begins. It's been a difficult summer. It's been a very difficult summer. Nearly 125 Averett employees are facing a summer pay cut. Five paychecks will be smaller than normal for a 3.5% salary reduction this year. The cuts affect 60% of the staff, including President Tiffany Franks and other university administration. It was not taken lightly. We considered so many different paths, and we, we needed to be able to put in place um, some immediate cost savings measures. Averett noticed errors in the university's budget in April. The former chief financial officer misreported expenses around Averett's forecasted revenues. Frank says the pay cuts will help bridge the gap of $6 million to get Averett back on track. There's not an area of the institution that we have not examined and asked ourselves, how do we make certain that we're being as efficient, as strategic, as innovative um, as possible in these areas? And that, that includes both revenues as well, revenues and expenditures. Averett's CFO was let go soon after the mismanagement of millions of dollars. Frank says that amount would impact any sized university, especially smaller institutions like Averett. It decreases the reserves that, that you have as an institution, um, and that's exactly what we're working to rebuild. That, that's the focus. Averett already had audit processes in place for finance reporting. Those checks will now be intensified. Averett says the CFO was let go shortly after the misreporting. The university says there is no evidence of embezzlement, theft, or use of funds for personal use. Now, Jean, despite mm -hmm. the financial uh, stressful financial situation that Averett is in, they said that they do not plan to raise tuition for this year or for the coming years, and student programs are staying intact for the upcoming school year. I'm sure that's a relief uh, for all the Averett students and staff, too. Right. All right, Isabella, thank you.